Hey guys, I'm Marshmallow and here's my live reaction to One Piece chapter 766. Naruto tribute. That is awesome. Whoa, that deal for the OP OP fruit is 5 billion berry. <laughs> Corazon. Corazon got away with the OP OP fruit. He absolutely wrecked those guys. Law doesn't look too good. <laughs> I love how he's just forcing it down his throat. He's not psychologically ready. Oh no, Corazon. Oh. Fuck, he's serious. So he didn't get away from those guys unscathed. What is this letter? A letter to Dressrosa. This letter alone can save a kingdom called Dressrosa. Oh no, oh no, I can see where this is going without even looking at the next panel. Virgo, it's Virgo. Fuck. Oh man, that sucks. Oh wow, just what a coincidence. Such bad luck. Of all the marines we could have found. Holy shit! Oh, that foot to the face. If the navy got hold of this, it'd be the end of the family. What was in that letter? Wow. From the day you disappeared when you were 8 years old, to the day you appeared in front of us 14 years later, Dolphin never suspected you just because he claimed you were his brother. Holy shit, he's giving Corazon a beatdown. The Doflamingo family looks boss. Oh, birdcage. What the hell? <laughs> what a smile. What? Oh man, what a chapter. One Piece lately for the past several weeks has been amazing. Alright, so Corazon did get away with the OP OP fruit from those guys from the last chapter, but he didn't get away unscathed. He got a shit ton of bullets put through him. And he hands Law this note for the Navy. Wow. What are the chances that the Navy person that Law gave the note to was Virgo? Oh man. I wonder what was in that letter. Virgo said that it had the potential to bring down the whole family. So I think it was just information about the Doflamingo family taking over Just Rosa and framing the king. If, that, if that's the case, then Doflamingo has been planning it for a long time. And it wasn't just on a whim that he'd go and capture Just Rosa and take it over. So you finally get to see the birdcage. We'll get to see why Law is so terrified about it. Because if you remember, when Doflamingo mentioned it in the present time, Law was like shit scared. So yeah, Doflamingo has finally found out his brother is a spy, is a marine spy. I think we already know that Doflamingo is the one that killed Corazon. And we've yet to see if he kills Corazon in front of Law. But I'm guessing that's the case, so we'll see what happens next chapter. I just love Corazon's attitude, smiling in the face of death. Is this guy an ex-celestial dragon or what? He's probably secretly a D. <laughs> an interesting point is that he disappeared for 14 years. So he ran away from Doflamingo when he was 8 years old and then reappeared 14 years later. So that would make him 22 years old. And Doflamingo just accepted him back into the family just because he was his brother. At the same time, I kind of feel bad for Doflamingo because <laughs> his brother just fucked him over. Like, that's family and, you know, that's got to hurt a bit. It, he said it hurt. It hurts him a lot that he was right. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the chapter. I'm Marshmallow. If you like my review, please subscribe, like and favorite. There'll be more One Piece material coming out for this channel. If you like anything to do with manga, anime, you know where to go. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Love and peace.